Jamie, today you challenged us to put Christ at the center of our lives. What are some very practical ways Monday through Friday that we can begin to do that? Well, that's a good question. Um, you know, and to clarify, we challenged today for people to put God's glory, and that would obviously involve Christ, uh, at the center of one's life. It's really, it's, a, it's an esoteric issue in one sense of just having in our hearts, in the deepest recesses of our heart, a concern and a priority for His glory, His goodness, over and above ourselves. And though I'll give you a few practical things here in a minute, one of the things that I don't want to be lost here is that, you know, it's easy to fall into a list of do's and don'ts based on this. In fact, that's part of the problem of evangelical Christianity today, is that we got all of our list of do's and don'ts of things that we should do and not do to sort of have a spiritual life, but it's possible to do all those things and to not do certain things and have your heart be stone cold and to have His glory, as we've talked about today, not at the center. And so the point is, is that it's a decision of your will. It's truly what some of the greats like Brennan Manning, Henry Nouwen, some of the more uh, interior life guys would call the interior life. It's about what's going on in your heart and mind, and that's a decision that you make moment by moment of each day. So here's how that works. You're going to wake up tomorrow, and if you made a decision today in service to have His glory take supremacy in your life, to be more about His glory than your own glory, then tomorrow when you wake up, I promise you, one of the temptations you're going to feel is just to do same old, same old. To start thinking about you and your needs and your problems and your issues and then come up with your plan and your agenda and how you, 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 you are going to do this. And that was the whole point of you repenting of that today. That what I hope is that tomorrow, before you do anything, you wake up and say, His glory, His grace, his goodness. And before you even jump out of bed, just think of Him. And, and right there where you lay down, just give your heart and your mind once again over to Him. I practice that all the time. When I wake up, before I get out of bed, and before I focus on all my day, I just say, okay, my life is God's. He's my Lord. He's my Savior. He's at the center of my life. His glory matters more than mine. And in a moment of submission that nobody else sees, not even my wife laying next to me, but nobody else sees what's going on inside, I'm submitting, I'm surrendering to Him. And I do that throughout the whole day. I mean, even when I'm tempted to grab things back and take the bull by the horns and do all this stuff, I'm, I'm trying to submit to Him and have it be more about His glory. Now, in addition to that interior life, certainly read the Word, certainly fellowship with other believers on a regular basis, have iron sharpen iron, uh, certainly be about service and using your gifts and passions for the kingdom, share your faith regularly, pray, quite often, attend Bible study and church, all the things that we talk about here. But those are outward things. And the point is, is that if your interior life is not in order with the priorities of where your affections really lie, then these are just going through the motions. So my prayer is, is that what happened today in our church, the fruit would be evident in years to come as people cement who's first, who's second, and God is on the throne. Thank you, Jamie.